Now let us talk about the fourth type of screening which is called the differential screening or plus minus screening. Now in this screening, uh, we can do this screening for the differential medium. For example, this is a type of cell that is growing in the normal medium. Now what is the characteristic of this cell is that when we expose these cells to the serum, then some new type of cells start to develop. And the development of these new cells will be possible due to the expression of certain genes inside the cells. We want to take that kind of gene out of this system. We want to screen that type of cells out of the system. So in those cases, we will apply uh, that particular environment. Here is the addition of serum onto this medium. Sorry, it will trigger the development and growth of this kind of cell. So what we get, if we extract all the mRNAs from this cell, we get this kind of mRNA which is induced by the presence of serum. Rest of the mRNAs are from different cells which are uh, generally uh, transcribed all the time. But this orange color one is something which is transcribed due to the ex due to the exposure to the serum, right? Now what we'll do? We'll screen this in the uh, running through it oligo DT column. Remember, so we are having an oligo DT column. We are having the uh, T uh, residues uh, there all the time. And what we do? We pass this uh, mRNA containing oligo uh, C prime poly A tail. So those mRNA with this poly A tail will start to bind. So they will bind with this oligo, oligo T column. So those mRNAs will be attached, right? And rest of the parts will be removed. Then we take out this particular uh, uh, column. And what we do, we utilize reverse transcriptase enzyme along with the P32 level DNTPs. So all the DNTPs that we utilize here is P32 level. And also reverse transcriptase will start to produce the complementary DNA from this existing uh, mRNA. So we are talking about the cDNA library. So cDNA libraries are made like that. So we make cDNAs which are already P32 leveled. Then what we do, we utilize these probes and hybridize it with the existing cell like that. Hybridize it with the existing cell. Now once we make this kind of cDNA probe, now we all, what we know that when we make a cDNA of, of against this particular mRNAs, it will be complementary to the mRNA, right? And all the cells that are present here are consisting of this particular uh, mRNA. So once we add the probe of cDNA, it will be complementary to this mRNA. So it will go and bind with this mRNAs. So it will hybridize with the existing region of the mRNA inside the cell. Then what we'll do if we uh, do the autoradiogram, and again all these things are happening in the nylon paper or nitrocellulose paper. Then we expose this film to the X-ray, and what we can see, uh, it will start giving us the hybridization pattern. Now, as we are providing the DNTPs for all these things, it will giving us the expression of all the different uh, position where the hybridization takes place, where these P32 level cDNAs are placed. Now, there are five different uh, types of mRNAs there and we are providing uh, the complementary DNA for five different mRNAs. So, they will bind in these five different mRNAs of all the cell types. So, we get these different variations of Banding pattern. Now, on the other hand, if we don't expose these cells onto the serum, then what will happen? These cells, uh, most of the uh, of the mRNA which are developed in normal time are expressed, but that particular mRNA, which is the serum induced mRNA, will not be expressed in this case. So, what we get? We instead of five, we get only four mRNAs to be expressed. Similar procedures will be done here. Again, the separation by oligo DT column. Then reverse transcriptase by providing P32 level DNTPs will be provided and also we carry the hybridization process. After the hybridization process again it will develop a film. But in this film what will be missing is that particular mRNA due to the uh, absence of the complementary DNA of this serum induced mRNA it, it does not show any kind of position or spot on the X-ray film. So by comparing these two pictures that uh, this cDNA labeled or, or the induced mRNA labeled picture and uh, induced mRNA non labeled picture, we can tell that there is some colony placed at this region which is found in this picture A but not found, sorry, but not found in this picture B is going to tell us uh, the story that this particular segment of the original clone, that means this cell from the original plate this region for from the original plate sorry this region from the original plate is containing our 
desired gene which can only be expressed which can only be expressed during the exposure to the serum otherwise it is not being expressed okay so this is a study which is complicated but is pretty understandable that we can do it because this is the master plate but and looking at the master plate we can tell that yes this is the particular colony which is containing our desired gene because once we express this particular plate to the serum it will start providing us all the uh, spots uh, on the extra film but when we express them not in the serum then what we get we do doesn't get the expression of this particular spot at this position so that is mean that means that this or the cells of this position it actually expressing that particular gene of interest okay so this is the level of cdna of our interest that's how we can by comparing it uh, in two different cases one is uh, adding serum and another one is without the serum we can actually compare their uh, results and can tell uh, where is our gene